Well, welcome back to the channel. Today you find me down at uh, King's Wood in Chalock, which is towards Ashford Way. It's probably, uh, I don't know, 25 miles or so from home. Um, it's the middle of the day. It's a little overcast. There's not really much light in the, uh, the woodland at the moment, but uh, I thought I'd come down, have a look, see where we are. Um, with the bluebells this year and see if they're out. I've had a, a sighting of a few um, just on my way uh, into the woods and I'm hoping that uh, the further I go in, I might find that um, there's more bluebells that have come out um, in larger groups. So uh, we'll have a wander around and see what we can find. Well, I've actually been wandering around Kingswood for half an hour, 40 minutes, and I've been up here a few times. Um, on this occasion, I decided to head to a different part of the forest that I would normally go to. Um, I haven't visited all the, this woodland by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the side I was on just now, there were bluebells out, but they were quite patchy, quite thin, um, and couldn't really find a, a, a composition um, to make them look nice. I spoke to uh, a couple of other people that were walking around and uh, I just asked them, um, have you seen any carpets or bluebells on your walks around? And uh, this gentleman said to me, uh, pointed me in the direction of a, of a path across uh, the field and come to pretty much the other side of um, the forest, which I've never been to. And as you can see, the bluebells are out in abundance this side. There's uh, just carpets of them so it's time now to try and find some sort of composition and uh, try and get an image of them but it's lovely over here. Well, I found my first composition and uh, I've taken an image um, I've got the 70 to 200 on and I am at uh, ISO 100 f11 for one fifth of a second now that's with the uh, circular polarizer on and there's a, a tree uh, in the background here uh, with some bright green leaves which seem to stand out uh, from the background which is a bit darker and you get the carpet of bluebells uh, on, the, on the forest floor and there's a, a fallen log um, just in the foreground which actually points towards the tree which kind of leads your eye into the frame. Um, hopefully the uh, image will turn out quite nice but I'll, uh, I'll put it up on the screen for you now. The old temperature's starting to drop, so the old jacket on. Bit of a grey cloud up there as well, I'm not sure whether it might have been for a little shower. It wasn't forecast. Well, it is um, actually showering now. I don't know if you can make out the rain just kind of hitting the, the woodland floor. But it's lovely. I'm trying to uh, stick to the pathways here that are kind of meandering through um, the bluebells here just so as I don't trample over any. I uh, don't want to spoil it for, for everybody else and obviously I don't want to damage um, the bluebells themselves so stick into the path as best I can. Look at this, it's just it's just lovely.
Well, I've been wandering around the uh, forest here for, for quite a while now, and it's just so peaceful. I think there was one, one woman that I saw earlier on with a dog just cutting through, and I haven't seen a single soul in this part of the woodland for I don't know, a good hour. The rain has um, stopped. It was a very brief shower. But I've been trying to find a composition and I'm, because it's woodland, uh, as well as bluebells, I really do struggle with woodland. Um, but I found this, this scene behind me here. And there's just this massive carpet of bluebells. Looks absolutely lovely. And I have no idea what these trees are, but they're pretty uniform, pretty straight. And how I've got this composed is um, there's a, a dead stump kind of uh, here somewhere. Uh, and I've got that more or less uh, on one of the intersecting thirds and one of these trees on the other third. And I've got the horizon. Um, two thirds of it is the bluebells and one third of it is the trees, which then actually cuts off the sky. There's absolutely um, the sky just ruins the shot, so by cutting the sky out, I've just got one third of the trees and then two thirds of the bluebells. Um, and I'm thinking it's going to look quite nice. It looks quite nice on the back of the camera. Um, I don't know if you can see this on here. Too many reflections. Um, but anyway, it's uh, ISO 100 f11 for one sixth of a second. Uh, there's no filters at all. It was with the 24 to 105 lens and I am at 105 millimeters. That was quite an enjoyable walk um, through Kingswood there. In the main part of Kingswood where I normally go to, um, there wasn't an awful lot of bluebells that I could see. It was only the fact that I stopped and asked a few people um, had they seen any bluebells on their travels. And a gentleman said to me, um, pointed me in the right direction basically, um, sent me on a, a footpath. Um, which led to a field, at the cross a field into a, another area of the woodland I'd never been to before. And uh, in there, there was quite a lot of um, bluebells. So we managed to find one or two compositions and one or two images. It's not the best light today um, because of, it's the middle of the day, it's quite overcast. Um, and in the woodland, it was very kind of flat light really. Um, but sit, tease on. Uh, yeah, it was very, very flat light. Um, but I've been procrastinating for 
several days now um, about getting out. I don't know why. It's just one of them blocks, I suppose. I had a, a couple of opportunities that I could have come out and done some photography and never did. Um, and today was my first day off. I've been on late turn all week, not getting in till sort of two in the morning. Um, so today I decided I wasn't going to get up for sunrise, um, not after getting in at that time. So I had some spare time this afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd been putting it off for long enough. And I've come down to Kingswood just to see, you know, are the bluebells out? Can I get an image or two in the middle of the day? I even tried my hand at some um, ICM, some intentional camera movement stuff. Um, if I haven't already put them up on the screen, then I will do afterwards. But uh, if nothing else, I've had a really enjoyable time. I've had a nice walk around. It's been nice to get back out again with the camera after so long. It's probably oh, probably a month or so now since I last went out and took the camera out with me and even made a vlog. So, yeah, I've enjoyed it. You know, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed coming along. Um, one or two of the images, if you have, give us a thumbs up. Even subscribe if you uh, if you liked it that much. Really appreciate it. But uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers then. Cheers.